Notre Dame is number one. Notre Dame with a miracle win is a He's going again. Notre Dame has scored. I think, frankly, he was a very intense person. He was so intense that when he, during the season, he didn't go home at night. He used to, he lived in Michigan City, but he uh, he used to uh, stay at the firehouse all during the season because he would get up at five in the morning and be right on the job. He was a very intense man. He did everything to perfection, and he wanted everybody to play to perfection, and he also wanted everybody to know that you were playing for Notre Dame, a school that he loved very much, and when he lost, he, he, it was like a. Uh, an arrow in his chest because he, he felt so bad because he wanted Notre Dame to be represented properly. His health. Father Hesburg uh, was really worried about uh, Coach Leahy's health. That's Frank Leahy, coach of Notre Dame. Les Aries of ABC and Coach Bobby Dodd of Georgia Tech are all in the picture. And out of the runway come the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, the top team in the country. It was against Georgia Tech. There's the end of the first half. Notre Dame leads Georgia Tech by a score of seven to nothing. We got into the locker room and there was some commotion going on and finally Father Hesburgh and Father Joyce went ran back to the room where Leahy was and then our, our uh, Don Pitts, our captain, uh, went back. Frank Leahy was taken ill at the halftime and will be unable to be with the club on the bench in the last half and he has been taken to the Notre Dame Infirmary. Coach Leahy had a pancreas attack and. Uh, and his eyes rolled back and it looked like a heart attack. Uh, strange story about this, my best buddy was a kid by the name of Bobby Regali. His dad played for Rocky back in the 20s. And his dad used to tell us about how Rocky would motivate players and how he'd motivate teams. And, and, and Bob at that time was not playing a lot and he was not pretty mad at Coach Lay because he wasn't playing. He was a tough little Italian kid. So, but Dan Pinson came back and he said, the coach is dying, the coach is dying. And I'm sitting right next to Bobby Regali and Bob gives me and he said, don't believe him, he's pulling a rock knee. So I started to kind of giggle at that, and I thought I, 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 had, I couldn't giggle too much, but it struck me very funny. The ball game is almost over, and Notre Dame has preserved their unbeaten streak in their number one position. The ball is given to Johnny Lattner, and Lattner goes in for the touchdown. I'll tell you how exact Coach Leahy was. The next week in the hospital, St. Joseph's Hospital, he set up a closed-circuit television set in his bedroom in St. Joe's to watch our practice sessions that week uh, before we played Navy. That's how, that's how he was. And every, in those old television sets, when the red light went on, you knew you were going to be on television. So we, all of us were watching the red light. <laughs> Frank was a wonderful coach, and he was a very fine man. And uh, if anything, he was too dedicated or over-dedicated to his sport because he didn't take anything for granted. Uh, however, I gotta say that he, he was a good moral person, a good example to his students. But if you fault him on anything, he really worked too hard. Oh!